This is a brand new straight razor that was sent to me from one of y'all. So we're going to go ahead and give that a test too. And then I'm actually going to be making, I guess I can't tell y'all what I'm going to make yet. Y'all just going to have to watch. Comb it down. Remember this is what the before looks like. Now let's get started on the after. We got a couple hairs up kind of high on the cheeks, so we go ahead and knock those off first. Don't need to put too much pressure on it at all. Y'all hear them coming off. You guys can see the line forming already compared to how it was all over. It's starting to form a little something, something. It's looking good already. Y'all see it change the hand position. Normally I have it holding like this. When I get up close towards the top, I gotta hold it like this to get a slight different angle. Yet again, doing the same small strokes. I don't know if y'all can see that right there. I can't see if I show you guys like this, I can't do it while I'm looking in there, but y'all see it, it's coming along though. Sometimes I accidentally be making these a little too thin. It goes up a little too far back, but right now I think I got it at a nice uh, width that I like. Now we're gonna move on to the other side. Again, guys, doesn't take long at all, but you do want to be patient. Don't speed on through it. Just do what you got to do, and everything is going to be good, man. Instead of trying to break your arm, trying to go like that, going up, turn your hand this way and go from the bottom to the top. Just to make sure we're still going in a straight line, comb it down again. Just knocking a few hairs off to give it a sharper curve. Y'all get it though. If you guys are new to doing anything like this, just practice, man. Practice don't make perfect, but it does make you better. You can progress in your skills, that's for sure. I've been doing it. Yeah, I'm recording. Back that ass up. There we have it. I think we Gucci, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Now that we've done that, I'll go ahead and put this bad boy away for now. Again, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you guys like crafting or anything like that or creating stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to my other channel too. Because I told you guys, I'm going to try to incorporate some stuff with this channel and that channel together uh, to make them, you know, one. Because it's the same person hosting both channels, right? Might as well. Now that we're done with that, we're moving on to the fade. Again, these trimmers do come with like the standard sets of guards here. So we have a one, a one and a half, and a half. So we'll go ahead and start off with the largest one, which is going to be the one and a half. Pop this on, make sure it is on there secure. We'll start with the grain, then against the grain a little higher. With the grain, then against the grain a little higher. Then we'll go ahead and switch out to the next guard and do the same thing, making sure that we don't go down as far as we did with the previous one. So with the high guard, one and a half, you can go down a little bit. The next one, only go down about halfway. Next one, just a little at the top. Then we can take the whole thing off and do the same thing right at the edge to blend it perfectly into the bald head. We're starting with the one and a half, and let's go. It's not gonna do much, again, because I did actually fade it not too long ago, but I still want to show you guys the same steps 
every time so you guys can learn from me but I actually do have a whole bunch of videos specifically on how to fade your beard in so if you guys need any additional tips versus what I'm saying right now make sure you guys click the card that pops up and again watch all the videos on my channel looks like that's what y'all been doing anyway even though I have not been posting um, y'all still been coming still subscribing everything and that is the plan to have content that is so good I could disappear for a long time new people could still see it still share it still love it still comment still everything because I took my time when it when I did it the first time so it could last forever however the way YouTube does it even if you got a real good video that got a lot of good views and all that type of stuff if you posted that video a year ago and somebody searches for it, they really ain't going to put you on the, on the top of the list. They want consistency. They want you to keep making videos over and over and over and over. So even though it's the same steps that I've been doing, and if I want to get on the top of the charts, right, YouTube said I got to keep doing it. So I guess we got to do it. If y'all could do me a favor too and, and just share this video somewhere. Share it on Facebook. Take a screenshot, post it on your Instagram, tell people to go watch me on YouTube, something. I need y'all's help so we can get to 100,000 subscribers. I keep saying I'm close, and we are close, right? But the numbers, it'll jump up, and then it'll start growing very, very slow. So, we, we close, but we ain't there. But again, hopefully you guys see what I'm doing. I'm now going against the grain. And I still see I'm going to need to do it again up there. But go against the grain. Start from the top. Work your way down a little bit. And kind of keep your ears open to hear if it's actually cutting the hairs or not. Because if it's not cutting the hairs, that means you can possibly go a tad bit lower. There we go. And we did what we could do with the one. Now we will switch over to the half which is the smallest blade in our set. Again, going with the grain, with the grain. Then against the grain from the top, working our way down. Against the grain, working our way down. Same thing on this end. Now I think that's such a good fade that I probably don't even need to take the guard off and do it without the guard. So we good. So I'm gonna leave it as is. We'll go ahead and pop this off. Again, getting our little brush. Clearing the hairs off of our trimmers. We'll go ahead and put the uh, regular guard back on. This one right here is just a guard to protect the, the trimmers. It's not to actually shave with because you ain't going to get nothing through those. Uh, there's no grills to get anything through. We'll go ahead and clean off our guards as well. And put them right back in the bag. Make sure, man, I just got to tell you all for safety as well. Because I know some of you guys who watch me and maybe, you know, you... You're trying to be a barber, I would say if you're already a barber, you know better than to use, um, I was going to say, unsanitized clippers, but just clippers on somebody else in general. But I'm pretty sure you guys are doing the right thing, protecting yourself, protecting other people, because you damn sure don't want to, you know, use trimmers, cut yourself, get some blood in the thing or whatever, not clean it off, not spray them off, and then go to cutting somebody's neck and do the same thing. That's definitely not good. So make sure you always clean your trimmers. Um, the reason I didn't clean them on camera today again is because I'm the only one that uses these. But you guys know they've been watching. I always spray my trimmers down. Um, even though it's just me, I spray them down every couple um, you know, times that I use them. So again, we got that going. We're looking good. I'm going to go ahead and clean the sink out just a little bit. And then we're going to throw some oil in it. And I'll show you guys the uh, final result. Matter of fact, it's looking like a final result right now. What y'all think, man? If y'all think it looks good already, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button. Drop a comment below. Again, share the video. I need y'all help sharing these videos around. Tell somebody to tell somebody else to try to, you know, line up their beard themselves. I'm here to help y'all. Any questions you guys have, any new products you guys think I should check out, let me know. Um, 
as far as like oils or bombs or different stuff like that. If you guys want to put me on game or, or send me something, I'll definitely check it out. Not saying I'm going to make a video about it. If y'all trying to sponsor the kid, you know, we'll talk business. My email is going to be linked below. But if y'all just want to send something to me just so I can actually use it, whether it's on or off camera, contact me. I'll let you guys know what to do. And uh, we're going to get it going. Go ahead and throw some warm water again on our towel just to put some moisture into our beard and prepare to be picked. Definitely do not want to be picking your beard when it's dry because the only thing that's going to happen is it's going to crunch and it's going to break off. So try not to do anything like that with a dry beard. Look at it though, y'all. Look at it. Didn't even take us that long to do this. Still got it. The beard is still real for anybody who thinks my beard was falling off in the one video I made. Y'all still be commenting that. That's ridiculous. Talking about y'all seeing my beard flop off. It flopped off and it just went right back on, huh? They said I got a, a magnet. My beard is magnetically attached. That's crazy. It still ain't fell off after all these years. That's crazy. <laughs> Trying not to get too much water all over the place. So I'm bending down in the sink. But get a good amount of water in the beard we drip dripping all over the place man i'll take a little bit of this off so i wrung the towel out now let's go ahead and wipe it now if you guys have a lot of irritation after you either shave your head or line your beard up especially when using a straight razor you can always use vix make sure you guys click the card that pops up you guys watch the video that i made of all the tips and tricks you could do with vix one of my uh, top most viewed videos on my channel. If you guys have not seen that, make sure to go watch that as well. Um, but now we're going to go ahead and put some oil into it. And then maybe I'll put a different type of uh, ointment or whatever on top of my head. One of the most simplest things to use that I like to use, guys, is just some plain old coconut oil. Um, however, you can only use this when it's good weather outside, meaning the sun got to be shining a little bit. If it's cold, man, there's been some times where... I put coconut oil in my beard. I stepped outside. It was too cold. My whole face just froze up. That's one of those type of things. It's a product like that. The uh, what do you call it? The I guess the uh, the freezing temperature is, is very low or whatever it is. It just froze like instantly on my face. But I'm just throwing a little bit of this in here. Put some shine to it. We ain't got that much of good lighting, so it don't look like it's shining a whole bunch. But that's all right. Work it through your fingers. Make sure you get it all the way up on the skin, not just at the tips, but make sure you do get the tips as well. But work it all the way up and through your beard so it can get up under the skin so your skin is not irritated. I do a little bit of finger picking to make it easier when I get the actual pick. Then again, we'll finish it off with the actual pick. If you guys are the plug or can direct me somewhere to where I can get a wooden pick, let me know. Because I do want to, I've been wanting to get a wooden pick, but I guess I just never made it a priority because this one has been working no problem. But I wouldn't mind trying a wooden one and not a wooden comb. For anybody that keeps sending me combs, I have a bunch of wooden combs that these beard companies keep sending me. But as you guys can see, I have a really big beard and a wooden comb is not going to work in my beard at all. Matter of fact, I think I got one right here. I'll show you guys one that somebody sent me i'm pretty sure there's one in here let's see oh no this is a brush oh yeah see they sent me a brush or whatever and then i guess a regular plastic uh comb so that ain't what i thought it was but it was just sitting over here so i thought i'll show y'all so we're gonna pack this back up but yeah what am i gonna do with the little tiny comb like that man that that don't work for me and we're gonna have to like uh not fade the beard and we did that but like cut the little stragglies and shape it up i guess in a couple weeks because it's actually not looking too bad right now but again want to make sure we get up under the neck as well and if you guys remember at the beginning of the video as soon as i tried to pick it out it wouldn't even go through at all but now that we actually added some moisture into it it's going through again never stick it through and just try to yank it out otherwise you're gonna put a big old patch in your beard and you're gonna have to start all over that's how I started this channel, by the way. Go to my very first video, or maybe the third or fourth video on this channel. You guys will see I had a beard. Maybe it's a little bit smaller than this. Cut it all off, and we started this channel straight from that. Thumbs up the video for that, y'all.
Looks like we made perfect timing too because the battery indication is telling me the camera is about to die. So I'll let y'all get one final look at it for now until I upload a video in maybe like a week or two. Let me cut the little straggly off right there. But y'all see it, man. Beard's still big, still dark, still shining, still crispy, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video, though. Peace.